John Boyega exploded into the worldwide spotlight after being cast as breakout character Finn in the newest Star Wars trilogy. Over the past couple of weeks, we've been afforded a deeper glimpse into the passionate side of John as he stands with others against systematic oppression that has been going on for far too long. So, in this vid, we're going to take a look at 10 facts you may not have known about John Boyega, many of which will leave you shocked. While John is no stranger to making headlines with his acting ability, more recently he's been making some of a different sort due to his outspoken social activism. The British actor gathered with protesters during an anti-racism demonstration in London a little earlier this week at a Black Lives Matter rally. We're not going to chase anymore. We're going to try today. We are a physical representation of our support for George Floyd. All right, some more. I want to thank every single one of you for coming out. This is very important. This is very vital. Black lives have always mattered. We have always been important. We have always meant something. We have always succeeded, regardless. And now is the time. I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting. I have been born in this country. I'm 28 years old, born and raised in London. John was originally more than a little concerned to be sticking his neck out by voicing his beliefs and opinions, but as we'll get into in a moment, he has a ton of support from his co-workers and friends in the industry. So what else is there to know about John Boyega? What's going on guys, it's Kara and today we'll be bringing you a list of the top 10 John Boyega facts that you didn't already know here on Famous Entertainment. You might think you know everything about the fantastic actor in his personal life, but I can promise you, you haven't heard all of these before. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified whenever we post a new video on this channel. If you guys want to see more list videos, leave your ideas in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out our recent videos in this series featuring Kylie Jenner and Machine Gun Kelly. Follow me on Instagram because I love hearing your thoughts on these lists. Now let's get into this video. Number 10, his famous friends all have his back. Let's start off by finishing our story off the top. John did a brave thing by standing up and speaking out against the horrific actions of police brutality, but people who take a stand on the right side of issues aren't always widely celebrated. Thankfully, this wasn't to be the case with John as other people in Hollywood were quick to react. Jordan Peele tweeted out that he has John's back. And his co-star Mark Hamill, best known for playing Luke Skywalker, declared on Twitter his appreciation for what John is doing. Even Olivia Wilde tweeted out her support, saying she hopes to work with John in the future. I gotta say, over the past couple weeks, it's been awesome to see so much support for such a noble cause. Number 9, John and co-star Oscar Isaac played up their bromance for the fans. Fans of the new Star Wars trilogy shipped a whole lot of couples during the course of this new series, but few matched the chemistry of Finn and Poe's bromance. The fan base felt the chemistry between these two was off the charts from the moment Poe bit his lip at the sight of Finn. John explained that moment further in a recent interview. I think that idea came from the fans, to be honest. It wasn't, it wasn't on, there wasn't a conversation about it during episode seven. Literally, you know, even when Oscar does the, you know, the, the mouth bite and what, the love between me and Oscar in real life, which is our intense bromance. But then obviously in a franchise when it, people are kind of like, oh, actually that's a possibility. Then we started thinking, oh, that could be a possibility. But John and Oscar weren't the only two on set shipping this romance. Co-star Mark Hamill even took the time to write his own thoughts down. Luke never met either Finn or Poe, so what they do behind closed doors, I guess I'll never know. But I would like to also note that love is love, whatever floats your boat. It might not be Shelly, but that's still a pretty effective love poem. Number eight, he has a secret chest tattoo. Coming in at number eight, John might have faced down some of the world's most powerful forces in the galaxy while acting in Star Wars, but even he's afraid of getting disciplined by his mom. Recently, he had a bit of a breakdown on Twitter after revealing to his fans that his mother had somehow found out about a chest tattoo he'd been keeping a secret from her. John laid it out for all of us in a series of tweets. It wasn't looking very good for John there, but the family turmoil ended with a big twist as John shared that his sister was also planning on getting a tattoo of her own. I mean, if you've taken the time to save the galaxy, I think you deserve a tattoo if you want one. Number seven, he hates porgs. Moving on to number seven, most fans of the new Star Wars series can at least agree on one thing, their love for one of the franchise's cutest creatures, porgs. But John, he's not so fond of the critters. He doubled down on that sentiment during an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel. But the Porgs would have the last laugh as we found it during a recent at-home interview with Jake Hamilton. I just naturally don't like them. I don't. <laughs> I on the Falcon and there was a hole and then there was like little Porgs all bunched together and then there were big ones. They, they had the puppets blinking and all that kind of stuff. I'm not into it. Number six, he has strong ties to his personal faith. 
Number six comes from an interview with Sorted Magazine where John expanded upon his thoughts on relationships and marriage by highlighting his parents' 25-year marriage as the type of relationship he hopes to have one day in the future. The actor says that his religious upbringing shaped him in profound ways. I come from a family that has strong faith and you realize that life is transient and nothing is more important than inner peace. I pray and meditate a lot. Money and fame do not have enough power over me to change my personality. John's father, Samson Adeg Boyega, is a Pentecostal minister and John's religious upbringing has made him want to find a life partner who shares his belief system. It's nice to survive with your companion by your side. I'm sure it's a good thing, but I've never experienced it. I do know, however, that she's got to be Christian. Here's hoping that John finds Mrs. Wright sooner rather than later. Number 5 He's a huge fan of anime Next up is number 5 where John's secret fandom reveals he's just as much of a geek as the rest of us. After the recent trailer for the newest season of Attack on Titan was released this past week, John took to Twitter to let the world know how excited he was. The actor even revealed his top 5 anime shows in a Q&A on Reddit. But he was quick to point out that his taste can change every 24 hours. Sounds like me and my purse collection. Number 4 He made the Sunday Times Young Rich List Number 4 on our list comes from British publication The Sunday Times. They put out an annual list of the top 50 UK actors 30 and younger. This year, both John and his co-star Daisy Ridley made the list, tying at the number 5 spot. They're listed as being worth £17 million each, which is mighty impressive. And if you're wondering who's at the opposite end of the list, well, it's still Harry Potter's Daniel Radcliffe worth an estimated £94 million. And surprise surprise, Emma Watson is number 2 being worth an estimated £52 million. These two are both 30 though, so enjoy it while it lasts. I'm sure it won't be long until John finds his way to the top of that list. Number 3 He has a deal with Netflix to create African films. Number 3 has John partnering with Netflix through his Upper Room Productions to develop non-English language films centered on West and East Africa. John co-founded Upper Room in 2016 to facilitate his first producing credit for Pacific Rim Uprising. Since then, he and his team have been developing a slate of projects across film and TV. Speaking about the venture, John said, I'm thrilled to partner with Netflix to develop a state of non-English language feature films focused on African stories. We are proud to grow this arm of our business with a company that shares our vision. I think it's pretty clear with this deal that John is one of those rare people that practices what he preaches. Number 2 He has some interesting thoughts on his Star Wars trilogy. Nearing the end of our list, once Rise of Skywalker was released last year, John was free and clear of his responsibilities to Disney and made some of his personal thoughts on the franchise known. First, he made headlines by admitting that he didn't much care for The Last Jedi, speaking with Hypebeast, he said. The Force Awakens I think was the beginning of something quite solid, The Last Jedi, if I'm being honest. I'd say that was feeling a bit iffy for me. I didn't necessarily agree with a lot of the choices in that and that's something I spoke to Mark Hamill a lot about. In terms of Rise of Skywalker which received some of the most negative views of any film in the series, John has been more protective of it. When a fan suggested that the film was embarrassing, John responded with, He's also had something of a war going on with Raylos, a group of fans who've been pulling for Rey and Kylo Ren to get together. John tweeted out a photo set that suggested their violent, creepy relationship wasn't worth defending. When fans went all in on him suggesting he was jealous that his character didn't get the girl, John ended the conversation with this. I got that out of my system. What's next? That's a mic drop if I've ever seen one. And number one, he bought his parents a house. Finally, coming in at number one in 2017, John did what every kid with loving and supporting parents one day hopes to do, he bought them a house. He shared the emotional moment on his Instagram. And guess what, not only did he give them a brand new house, he also purchased them a brand new Jaguar. Forget his parents, I want John to adopt me. So there you have it, the top 10 facts you probably didn't already know about John Boyega. Whether he's speaking out for causes that matter, having fun with his Star Wars fandom, or buying his parents a house, John is always showing how down to earth and like the rest of us he really is. But I want to hear from you guys, what facts surprise you the most about John? Did I miss anything? Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!